Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. This is Katie, and welcome. If you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing. And welcome to those of you that are back. Today, if you couldn't guess from the box, <laughs> we're doing an unboxing from the fabulous Diamond Art Club. So uh, I did already cut this open to check to make sure that this was the kit I wanted to unbox because I had a couple of... Uh, I had a couple of Diamond Art Club boxes that I haven't gotten into yet. Don't judge me. <laughs> okay, there is a packing slip in here that I can't quite get to, but just in case you were curious, um, double check your packing slips for discount codes. If you want an even higher discount code, check out my description. <laughs> I am an affiliate for Diamond Art Club, which I will share up front. Um, and if you would like to use my code for 15% off, it is, like I said, down in the description. Um, there's also an affiliate link there. And you're never obligated to use those. It's just if you'd like to save some money and um, help me out a little bit as well, but anything that I were to make from that in commission would go right back into the channel. But let's get into the fun stuff. So this is a round diamond kit, um, which you can tell both from this logo that says, well, round diamonds and the, the pink stripe at the top. If it's a square kit, it'll be blue. And this is the kit, Time to Spare, from the very newly signed Sarah Mustafa. And you guys, as soon as I saw this kit, I had to have it. And I love everything that this artist has to offer. And I cannot wait to see what else Diamond Art Club has in store from this particular artist. So um, if, if you weren't familiar with sort of what this art is referencing, it's referencing the movie Tangled from Disney. And the line, the name Time to Spare comes from the opening song. <laughs> so we watched that movie quite a lot in the house because my kids love Tangled. Um, they're boys, they love Prince Disney princesses. I love it too. Uh, so we watch a lot of Tangled and this kit is gonna have so much pink in it. I had to have it, had to have it. If you are new to diamond painting, they do have some basic instructions on the back of the box. There are gonna be some instructions inside the box as well. Um, I tend to recommend that uh, if you're new to diamond painting and looking for tips and tricks as a beginner, um, I like watching YouTube videos a little bit better than, is there something else in there? I hear it. I swear I hear it. Um, I tend to, there it is, like watching YouTube videos so that I can have a visual as opposed to just reading instructions, but you know, it's an option there. So we have our basic toolkit, which for round drill kits, uh, includes a pen with a squishy. We have a bunch of extra baggies, a lot of extra baggies. <laughs> a couple of plates, of plates of the pink heart wax, which is actually really a really good fallback, uh, just standard wax to use. Clear tray, and this one comes with a four multi-placer. So it is everything that you need to get started with diamond painting and very beginner friendly. <laughs> so this kit, um, they do give you, here, let me show you the smaller one first. This is a sticker that is the perfect size to either put on the side of your box, um, if it, you know, that helps with how you store them, or if you use a log book like I do, you can put this in there as well. It's just a nice way to keep track of it. This is the inventory sheet, and they've, Diamond Art Club has spruced it up just a little bit. Um, in the past month or so. <laughs> so they've included, again, the artist's name, the title, you have a spot you can write your start date and end date. Here's the beautiful piece of art that's in this kit. This is definitely referencing the Tangled movie. You can see the sun that is a logo in there and her hair is glowing and all that. Okay, so again, this is a round drill kit. It's 56 by 69 centimeters and it's gonna have 56 colors. Wonder how many of those are pink. <laughs> Um, and if you weren't aware or haven't had the chance to buy from Diamond Art Club recently, they did make a change to their sticker sheets where these are all pre-cut for you. So when you go to Kit Up, you can very easily pull those off and put those on your storage containers if you want. So let's look at the canvas and the drills. Did anyone else get their hands on this kit? <laughs> Again, this was the first from this artist, and Diamond Art Club actually just put up a survey in their VIP Facebook group 
Um, they've been putting up these surveys lately with different artists that they license from to get people's opinions on which pieces they should prioritize and just what pieces people are liking the best. So, oh my gosh, this is a good size. <laughs> so um, here is again those step-by-step -step instructions that I mentioned. And in here, just FYI, there is another discount code that you're welcome to use for 10% off. But um, again, I, if you like, I have a 15% off discount code down in my description box. Let's look at the drills after we look at the canvas, because first, since this wants to stay rolled up, and it is a poured glue canvas, uh, it is safe to roll back the opposite way to help it lay a little more flat. Now, this is actually not even something that you have to do, because I find that Diamond Art Club canvases are really high quality, and they will lay flat on their own pretty quickly, but just for sake of this video <laughs> and my excitement to show you guys, I will give it a little bit of help. So look how cute she is and how beautiful she is. Oh my goodness. Now, um, again, if you're not familiar with Diamond Art Club and their canvases, like I said, it's poured glue, which you can usually tell by the um, kits that have the clear plastic cover on them. It's really, really soft backing on the back and it's kind of like a plush feel to it. So um, it is really nice to work on. It's kind of luxurious to work on. And the edges are surged with those scalloped edges so that you're not going to run into major fraying issues. Here's the branding at the top. Do what makes you sparkle, Diamond Art Club. We do have our legend or schematic, whatever you want to call it here on the side that has the number, the symbol, and the color code, which is the DMC color code. As I mentioned, we have 56 colors. Looks like lots of yellows and pinks. This is going to be beautiful 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 we have all the info over here on the bottom left with the thumbnail the title of this piece and the size as well as the artist and you can see especially with the copyright symbol if you weren't aware diamond art club does legally license all of their artwork from artists which is very very important to me something to definitely be aware of as a diamond painter as a crafter the importance of compensating artists for the work that they do and uh, not stealing from them. Down here is all of their social information and another discount code and lifetime guarantee on their canvases. Diamond Art Club's customer service is excellent. If you have an issue with your canvas, because they have that lifetime guarantee, they will take care of you. <laughs> Whether it's missing drills or lost stickiness or what have you. We do have another schematic on the bottom right, and those schematics take up like over half the height of the canvas. Speaking of height, let's grab my measuring tape. Let's see if it is measuring true to size. Diamond Art Club kits usually do measure true to size, but if you see me do unboxings, you know that basically no matter what, I'm always measuring kits to see if they're true to size because you never know. So we have, this should be 56 inches. It is, about 56 on the nose and then height wise we should be at we're at just a tick under 69 which probably has more to do with me not quite getting it flat all the way and it's supposed to be 69 so we are definitely going to call this true to size let's do a really quick sticky test on the glue which either makes you cringe or <laughs> is satisfying Super sticky, which is very consistent with Diamond Art Club, as I mentioned. Now, if you're looking at this and you are seeing what looks like wrinkles here, those are not wrinkles in the canvas. That is just where the plastic cover has shifted slightly over the glue because it was rolled up for shipping. Um, you can very easily fix that by either just pulling back the plastic cover and replacing it and see those, you know, wrinkles that are not wrinkles are gone. <laughs> They're sometimes they sometimes leave a little bit of a different look in the glue itself but um it just it doesn't poured glue is so forgiving <laughs> it's not going to affect the placement of your drills or the quality of the canvas at all okay i did notice just now when i peeled that back i got a little bit of a strong whiff of glue um that might just you know be you know <laughs> they could have changed manufacturers or something like that but I did just get a little whiff of glue, but I did pull back, you know, half the cover on the canvas. So let's take a look at some of the symbols we're going to be working with. 
Um, I noticed Diamond Art Club has been adding some new symbols to their mix to choose from <laughs> that they use. Uh, I think to hopefully make things a little bit more clear. So far, these all look like symbols that I, you know, I think I've worked with before. Everything is so far every bit as clear in person as it's showing up on camera. It's looking good. Lots of kind of a mix of color blocking and confetti. So that'll be kind of nice. Now I know <laughs> her face actually looks really scary up this close. Uh, don't let that, you know, scare you, like really scare you off because that's just kind of the nature of diamond paintings and how they are rendered. They're not designed to be looked at up this close. <laughs> you know, they're designed to be looked at a little bit further away. And when they do the actual printed charting on the canvas, sometimes it looks a lot more harsh than it's going to when the drills are actually down. So this, even though again, like I said, especially with this, this black that's going to be outlining here, it's not going to look that harsh once you, um, get drills on it, but I don't know. We'll see. Maybe, maybe it will, but I, I really don't think that it will. Um, because this is so stinking gorgeous and has so much pink and as a Disney princess, I have the feeling that I'm going to get to this sooner rather than later. I also am really anxious to see how this artist's work translates to diamond paintings. So, um, let's flip this over and I'll take a look at the drills with you guys. Now, just so you know, if for whatever reason you take your kits out of the box that they came in and then store your canvases in one place and your drills in another place, Diamond Art Club does have a sticker with the title of the piece that these drills coordinate with so it's easy to match up with later. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna open this up. If you're not a huge fan of the plastic crinkling, um, just mute until you see me get the drills out. <laughs> Okay, take a moment to admire how neatly these are packaged before I <laughs> pull everything out and ruin it. There is, huh, all right. Well, I don't think that was for me, but there was a hair in here, so, <laughs> okay. Um, anyway, these bags look a little bit bigger than I feel like I've been seeing from Diamond Art Club recently, but that, you know, that works. Let's take a look. We'll start with the bigger sets first. We'll start right here with the send. All right. 30, 607, pink. <laughs> 3861, 938, and 3865. I am going to take a look. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to take a look at the darker drills to just see how they're looking quality wise. Um, this pink is one of my favorites, favorites ever. 37, 33. 3854, 3864. Ooh, 2550, this lovely royal purple. 445. And our first AB. This one is AB 129. Um, any DMC codes for Diamond Art Club that are under 150 are going to be an AB. AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and it's a special kind of drill that has an iridescent coating on top that just gives it a little bit of extra shine and sparkle and picks up the colors of the drills around it. My guess is that this is in her hair because in the movie, Rapunzel's hair glows when she sings. <laughs> we'll see though. 3828, 3772, 3860, 402, 310. Okay, 310, let's take a look because even the round drills have been questionable lately. But my understanding is that a few weeks ago, Diamond Art Club switched to manufacturing all of their drills in-house and immediately started replacing the darker drills with their own manufactured drills. So hopefully if you've had issues with the quality in past months, hopefully that's been resolved in the kits that you're getting now. So just something to keep in mind. Okay, now the slightly smaller bags of drills. So we've got 
34, 33, 37, 76, 742, 758. More of these browns. Ooh, there we go. There's, ooh, yes, please. This is a pink AB 124. <gasps> Yes, I love that. I bet that'll be maybe highlighting areas of her dress. We'll take a look. Right, more browns. I think we just have the two ABs in this kit, but I bet they'll look really beautiful. More browns and beiges. Another of my favorite pinks, 3608. 3855. 56, 56 colors is a lot, <laughs> but I bet this is going to be really beautiful. So last strand of drills that we only have little bits of. So 648, look at that blue. Where's that blue, I wonder? Pink, some kind of a beige. 823, dark blue. 3371, dark brown. 961, darker pink. Lots of pinks, browns, and yellows. A lot more browns than I was expecting, actually. Must be giving a lot of depth to her hair. <laughs> All right, really, really beautiful. So um, I am just really quickly, actually, I'm just really quickly gonna do a quick inventory on these just to be really thorough. So I will do that and I will be right back. All right, so it looks like all of our colors are here and accounted for. So let me shift these off to the side. And let's take a quick look at where our AB drills are going to go. So the symbols are going to be, we're looking for the numbers one and two, respectively. And it looks like the two, which is that pale buttery yellow color, is all through her hair, which again, that's about what I would have expected because her hair glows. She says that multiple times in the movie. She's like, my hair glows when I sing. Um, it's all through her hair. That's gonna be really, really lovely. Yep, just all around, just in those highlights of her hair, it's gonna give it that really glowy effect. Now, this is one of those where I would be super interested to like see what Tima has to offer over at DP with Sparklers, um, especially because this is a round drill kit, and so there's lots of round shaped sparklers you could get that might work really well with this one. I'm gonna go poke around and see because it would be interesting and fun, I think, to just super bling out her hair because all of her hair glows when she sings. <laughs> uh, the number one is that lovely shade of pale pink that we saw, and it's just kind of sprinkled through her dress. You know, I think it's gonna highlight here over here, there's a good bunch. Maybe it's going to highlight just some of the folds of her dress. There's a good amount here in the bodice up here as well. This one seems to be a little bit more just sprinkled throughout to, I think, highlight and accentuate a bit. Um, that's going to be really, really pretty. I love that pale pink AB that they've included with, the, with this kit. I think it's going to be really nice. So this is Time to Spare from Diamond Art Club. I'm really, really happy with what I'm seeing so far. I love the colors. Taking another look at this now, I can see why there's so many browns and beiges in this particular kit, because particularly on the edges, there's a lot of that. And a lot of the shading is done, not with really dark colors, but with shades of beige and brown. So when it's up towards the top as well. So that explains all those beiges and browns. <laughs> I think it's gonna be really, really beautiful and as always, I'm tempted to just drop everything and start on her right away because she's so, so darn pretty. But I'd love to hear your thoughts after seeing this unboxing. Does this look like a kit 
that you might want to get your hands on if you haven't already. Do you like this artist's style of artwork and are you hoping that we get to see more from her at Diamond Art Club as diamond paintings? I definitely do because I love this and she has some really, really beautiful artwork that assuming that this lends itself to diamond painting, like this, you know, style of artwork lends itself to diamond painting, then I'm like, just give me everything she's done. <laughs> so I'm really happy with this one so far. The quality on everything looks great. Um, and I'm, yeah, I'll definitely highly recommend that you go and, and check this out. If it's not in stock on the Diamond Art Club website, when you go to look, which I'll link this uh, kit directly in the description below, if it's not showing as in stock when you check the website, um, there should be a spot that you can sign up for email notifications when they restock it. And I do think that they will probably restock this one because it sold out very quickly. Typically, if kits are really popular and sell out quickly, they're gonna restock it because there's, you know, there's a demand for it. So <laughs> keep your eyes peeled. Um, let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. And if this video was helpful for you, please consider giving it a thumbs up before you click away. And of course, if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you're notified whenever I share new videos. I share a lot of mostly diamond painting content, unboxings, post reviews, how to's, that sort of thing. And I'd love for you to join me over here on my little corner of the internet. Um, and of course, questions, comments, concerns, leave those down in the comments and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. So. I hope you all are having a really wonderful week and I will talk to you again soon. Bye friends.